Hello everybody, Shelly here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping in. If you're an existing subscriber, I am eternally grateful that you guys keep coming back around. If you have not already, please subscribe. I'm actually going to stop asking that because I don't know that it makes any difference. If you guys want to watch the content, you'll subscribe. If you want to see a lady of a certain age, talk about makeup, maybe share some ideas that, that you also have sisters of a like mind, that kind of a thing. I would love to make you part of the family. I think I want to talk about ColourPop and I want to talk about my favorite fall themed ColourPop palettes. And the reason why I wanted to choose ColourPop to kind of focus on is because frankly, they're, they're relatively affordable. For the most part, the majority of their palettes are pretty palatable if you will. I do have two palettes that I don't actually own that would fall into this fall. Boy, I'm just redundant all over the place, aren't I? Fall into the fall autumn themed kind of range of color stories. And that is the whatever palette and the California palette. I think it's called California. So I've got both of those on order. They're not here yet when I'm filming this. And I, I just don't really want to wait for them to show up because I, I, I think they've shipped but I don't know where they are. So we're gonna talk ColourPop in no order. This is not all of my ColourPop palettes. These are just the ones that I think make great fall palettes. So if you have them and you haven't used them in a while, I think the majority of these are still available for purchase. If I do happen to have a video, I'll link it somewhere. And if I don't, I let me know if you wanna see a video on it. And I'm happy to do come up with, I don't know, three looks, one palette, that kind of thing. You just have to let me know. Communicate with me. Leave me a comment down below. Okay, you guys. So the first thing I want to talk about is Good as Gold. Now, the Good as Gold palette, I actually had filmed a video on. And then it was, by the time I got around to editing, it was so old that I just deleted it and scrapped the whole thing. But this is the actual palette. It's, you know, gold. There you go. That's the color story. Very gold. Do you know what this reminds me of a lot? Reminds me of Naked Honey, both of these. So if you have one and not the other, that's that's okay too. Don't go out and rush out and buy any of these if you just happen to have it. The golds, I don't know. When I think of fall, I think of the leaves turning. And I'm in Washington State, so we have some leaves that always stay green. Dark green, dark forest, pine colored green. And then we have, sometimes those pine trees turn a little rust colored. If we've got what pine beetles, they get infected. We have a lot of maple trees, a lot of birch trees, that kind of thing. So oak trees, a lot of oak trees. So I like looking at the colors of the season for my inspiration. So right now in where I live, which is the dry side of the state, we have a bright blue sky. I don't really do too much like bright, bright, bright blue. But with the color changing of the leaves, we get some that are like, white and various shades of gold and we've got some browns and some rusts and some oranges and I've got a Japanese maple in my front yard so I always look at that burgundy color. It's beautiful. I still have heather that is still kind of like that purpley color so I definitely gravitate towards those colors. This good as gold though gives you those gold warm I don't know late setting sun kind of vibes. I love that. So good as gold is going to be on my list of color pop fall palettes. I can't have a video and not mention uh, going coconut if you are not on the warmer orangey sides man this is such a good like everyday neutral palette a little bit more in the cooler tone I mean it reads to me and this just makes a great like everyday easy to go to palette it's small it's portable it's a fantastic palette I think I've heard recently that it was maybe sold out people trying to get backups of it so I try to pick palettes that I think you can still get. This one I'm not sure on. This one's called Main Squeeze. And this gives me those yummy late summer, early fall colors that just really feel warm and inviting. These colors of cranberry and, you know, again, that Japanese maple in my front yard that's changing colors and is going to get ready to kind of turn a little bit orange here. These colors, I think, give me what I need if I'm looking for a monochromatic kind of berry look love it. Some of these are very monochromatic, right? That's not always what I go for. We'll get into some other ones here. This is another one that's kind of similar. This one's called Give It To Me Straight. And this one gives me some of those kind of plummier colors, but then you've got some really pretty bronzy colors in here too. To me, this has that combination of largely cool, but some warm. I think if you've got this, you can get several looks from this palette. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite palettes 
regardless of the season. One that I've reached for multiple times is from is the Mulan palette and I looked and it is still available and it looks like that. And as you can tell, you've got some of those cool tone browns in here. There's a fly in here. You've got some cool tone browns in here. You've got some warm pops of warm colors. You've got some some shades to give you some serious drama, but I absolutely love this palette. It's easier to show you because there's no mirror in it. Keeping with kind of the berry colored theme, this is the All That palette. And if you're more of a cooler toned lover, I feel like this gives you the berries, but without being on that warmer orangey tone, I really feel like this burgundy and this really speaks of those leaves really turning colors and it just gives me all kinds of positive vibes. This palette is, you know, I, can't, I think, I can't remember it came out last winter, December maybe. I'd have to go back and look for sure. But this is the Anna palette from Frozen 2. I also have the Elsa palette, but to me that's more winter than than fall. So the Anna palette really gives me kind of those purples, the oranges, the yellows. The the glitter in the middle is a why bother. I wouldn't need that at all. Easy to get five, six, seven looks out of this. I just don't really need the glitter. Brown, you know, you can easily mix these shades in together. The thing with ColourPop is that the colors just blend so beautifully. They buff out beautifully. I just don't have any quality problems with them. Are they the most expensive palettes in the world, the most luxurious? No. But are they completely functional? Absolutely. I love, love, love this palette. If you're we're deciding between Elsa or Anna, say Anna. Okay, you guys, uh, Flutter By. Now, this is one that I don't have a lot of experience with, but the color story itself gives me all kinds of softer, more muted, kind of plummy looks. This doesn't read to me as too much of a winter palette, but I think that this can transition that way because the color story does read pretty cool. So I would say, you know, you've got a couple options here if you're of the cool tone preference. This palette to me just screams of hot chocolate and cozy blankets and cashmere sweaters and fluffy socks. I, I don't know why, but it does. So flutter by. Bare Necessities palette. I almost said Bare Essentials. Bare Necessities palette. I think this is just a really beautiful everyday wear palette. And I think you have, I mean, obviously it's a big palette. You have a lot of variety in here. You've got some cooler tones. You've got some warmer tones. You've got some hints of bronzy and gold. You've got obviously super deep tones to go more dramatic if you wanted to. But this to me is one of the best palettes that if you're new to makeup and mine's dirty. I mean, there's, it's, Kind of a disaster because I've played with so many different colors in here. While that's not necessarily something that I love, having a messy palette, I do love that I have so much functionality and so much versatility. It doesn't matter to me if I'm wearing glasses or if I'm going without glasses. This is a palette that has so many different color stories that I can take advantage of. So it gives me everything I need for so many different looks and so many options. It can maybe be a little overwhelming because you have so many choices, but I love that palette. This one is not new. This is the So Jaded um, palette. It was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Love her, by the way. Go follow her over on Instagram and, and YouTube, Kathleen Lights. She's fantastic if you don't already. This is one that, while she has so many videos on this palette, and I have also done a video on this palette, there are so many choices in here, and you have like every color that you could possibly want, in my opinion, you have everything. You have the greens. I love a grungy green. You've got another just, like, is that Peridot? Uh, yeah. Peridot, Peridot, I, I've heard both. You have some cooler tones. If you want something that's more aquatic looking, you've got a mustardy color. You've got these warm browns. You've got just so, so much versatility. You've got some duo chromes in here. Yeah, there, there are a couple glitters. I don't use them to be perfectly honest, but you have the lights, the darks, the transitions, and whatever color you're wearing, this gives you everything you need. So to me, is this strictly a fall palette? No, but I'd be remiss if I didn't say that this is one that makes a fantastic fall palette. If you have this, you have everything that you need. If you are starting out and you're looking for one or two makeup palettes to get you through an entire wardrobe and probably enough quantity of colors, quantity of project products to get you through like the next year, these two palettes would give you everything you need. Bare Necessities and the So Jaded palette. I don't think you need anything more than that. And my last ColourPop 
palette that I think is fantastic for fall. It does it wouldn't make sense because of the, the name of it, but it's called Garden Variety and it's got all these, you know, beautiful succulents on it. It could possibly read a little spring-like with this like bright green in here, but the purples and then the warm colors, the apricot colors, the rest of the palette to me is so very, very fall inspired. It, late summer, early fall. I feel like now we're like full into fall. If you picked this up, here just in the last couple of months. You don't need anything else. This will get you what you need, in my opinion. So I just talked to you guys about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11 different color pop palettes, by no means all of them. I think the whatever palette's gonna give me the same kind of warmy, plummy type vibes. And I know for sure that the California palette's gonna give me more of those orangey, yellowy vibes. Now I have other yellow palettes. And I have other yellow color pop palettes. I have other orange color pop palettes. So when I think of the monochromatics and you think of the yellow, the orange, the green, the browns, you know, the really earthy tones, there are a lot of different options out there. So this is not a, oh, you have to have these types of a conversation. These are just the ones that inspire me the most about color pop and you don't have to break the bank. So I hope that interests you guys. I hope that's helpful in some way. Would love to know your thoughts. Do you guys have any of these, all of these? Which ones are you reaching for right now? Did this cause you to reach back into your collection and pull out ones that you haven't played with in a while? I'd love to know that. If there are ones in here that I haven't had a video on that you guys are interested in, can a lady of a certain age who's not a makeup artist come up with multiple looks using the same palette? fall inspired looks please leave me a comment down below i would love to provide you the content that you want so with that i'll say i hope you guys are doing really well and that the weather's holding up for you until my next video bye for now